So we're at the uh, Sanctuary Gaming Center. We've got uh, eight guys playing bold action. Me and Ian Day is uh, going at each other at this table where uh, Ian just uh, suffered his uh, transport with an anti-tank rifle team inside with some shooting by this Polish squad. And there's a finish in there because I forgot to bring 10 guys. I only brought eight for a 10-man squad. How is that possible? So I got my cavalry lined up here, ready to advance over the river. And he has a firing squad over here, trying to take him out. But I got my 19-man squad over here. So that's just good and dandy. So let's go and take a look at the other tables where the other guys are playing. Okay, so here we got Neil and we got Jorko. Yes. And you're playing uh, German. Playing Finns, of course. You're playing Finns, of course. Yes, of course. Versus Brett. Brett. And how is it going? Well, four we kills. have four dead British <laughs> guys. Yeah. Of Blood in the mess tin. Exactly. <laughs> Lots of bombs. But very, very cool table. Yeah. Look, you Sanctuary got the Crusader over there. Stuff. Very cool stuff. Okay, let's go and take a look yep. at the other tables. As you can okay. see, there's uh, lots and lots of tables in this uh, old church. And here we come upon Tim and Anders playing Norwegians versus US. US. Mid war US. Mid war US versus Norwegians. <laughs> How's that going, Anders? He's dying. Yeah, he's dying, he's, that's he's good. He lost two units with a lucky shot with a mortar. So and, right and the sniper. On a six with a mortar, so killed the whole thing. This table was supplied by Ian Day. We will see this at the tournament in Birmingham on Saturday. So how, how, what is your plan, Tim? Are you learning something while playing? Yeah, Anders? I'm learning. I'm, I'm trying to uh, divide his fire between my two vehicles, but he's so far it's not planning <laughs> one thing. But yeah, he's, he's pinning me to death at the moment. Well, that's good. That's the only way that I can harm. Yeah, Except with this unit off. that can actually kill the tank. And the tank grenades. Yes. Oh, you got that? Yeah, yeah. that's the only end of the tank. I have no army except the Pew and the Gun and Plus One. Yeah. And the Alright, let's uh, take a look at the uh, next table, which is uh, Frank and Stuart. Yes. Hello. How is it going over here? We're well, fighting over a church. Yeah, we're trying to get the church. So we got British uh, Expeditionary Force versus the Russian Horde. This is a friendly maneuver. Uh, friendly, it's a training, a training session. Yeah, training. So how's it going? Someone we can shoot at you. So we'll do another Turn one. three, we're both alive. Okay. I killed his PA-10. Killed his PA-10? Probably uh, only because he forgot to wreck him. Ah. But you should have told him. Always Yeah, always wrecking. Yeah, always wrecking. Yeah. Okay, that's so, good. Because the light vehicle is not completely... Not completely useless, yes. That one, the one with the HMG? My yeah. medium machine gun will do uh, <laughs> with the light... Light, uh, light, 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 light auto cannon. cannon. Light. Yeah. Okay, so good luck. Yes. So this is the Sanctuary Gaming Center. On the far end, they got a shop with uh, lots of uh, models and stuff. So if you're in the Nottingham area, go and check them out. These uh, guys, these guys are patrons of Tabletop Battle. They've just been to uh, World of Games, buying stuff at discounted prices, and we have. Uh, well, taking the tour of World of Games. Okay, so we're here with Richard, the uh, owner. Yes. Yes, of the Sanctuary Gaming Center. So, Richard, tell us a little bit about this uh, church. Okay, um, Sanctuary was open in 2013. Um, we opened it for. Uh, the simple reason of building a local community of gamers. Um, the place that we used to game at unfortunately closed down, um, so we kind of stole all their tables uh, and pretty much 
discovered the church by chance. Um, and as, as soon as we kind of you know, walked into the church and realised the potential, um, it was it was pretty much go from there. So you have a lot of tables. How many tables do you have? Uh, we have 44, six by four foot tables. 44. 44. Yes. And you also provide terrain for free. Yes. Um, we do have a gaming fee of three pounds per day. Um, yeah. We also have uh, membership schemes that people can take up. Um, the majority of that money does go on uh, keeping yeah. terrain um, built up to scratch. Um, <laughs> we try and provide terrain for all systems as well. Um, so if, if somebody does happen by chance to come in, um, they will be able to find some sort of decent terrain they can Yeah, we, we, we've used it and it's very, very nice. Very easy to set up and have good games. We of course play bolt action on four of your tables and that's top-notch stuff. Excellent. Yeah. So, how many people do you normally have during a good night? Um, I've not really done a head count tonight. I think we've done um, 30 plus people. Yeah, 30, 40 people. Yeah. Between, between 30 and 40 or maybe 50, I think. So if, um, if you're in the Sutton by Ashfield? It's, uh, we're based in Sutton and Ashfield, uh, which is north of Nottinghamshire. Uh, so it borders onto obviously Derbyshire and um, surrounding areas. Um, it's quite easy to get to from the M1. Yeah. Um, so if you're 40 minutes-ish drive away, um, it should be an easy run. Yeah. So try, try and come down and see what we get up to. Uh, we play a lot of um, different systems. Um, my philosophy is that we are a gaming center. So if somebody comes in, into the center and they want to play a particular game, but they don't want to throw their money at it, we can provide the terrain, we can provide models that they can use um, for that particular night yeah, that's nice. and all they have to do is pay their gaming fee. Yeah. Uh, so we have a board game library that people can use, uh, come in, grab yourself a board game, you can sit and play. Um, you know, we have bolt action miniatures that people can come and use. Um, pretty much every system that we stock, we have demo kits for and majority we, of the games we have full, uh, full armies for or setups so people can use whatever, um, yeah. whatever they want really. So if you're in the area you should definitely stop by and uh, visit uh, Richard and the guys, play some games and you also do monthly tournaments? Yes, we run monthly tournaments of 40, 40k, uh, X-Wing, Malifaux, uh, Guild Ball is every two months um, but we do run evening events as well, um, so we've got something called Wingman going on, which is X-Wing, but it's only 50 points worth, um, and there's certain quirks and stuff um, to that particular tournament uh, that limits what you can use, and they've proven really popular and fun, fun tournaments. Yeah. So tournaments and casual gaming, you should wish it. The Sanctuary Gaming Center. Thanks for having us. Cheers, guys. Thank you.